In the heart of England during the 11th century resided a noblewoman of extraordinary virtue known to all as Lady Godiva. Married to Leofric, the Earl of Mercia, she was a beacon of compassion amidst the harshness of medieval life. The tale that has woven her into the tapestry of history is one not just of a legendary ride, but a profound lesson in chastity, honor, and the power of collective respect. Leofric, burdened by the needs of governance, imposed heavy taxes on the people of Coventry. The burden was cruel, and their suffering deep. Witnessing their plight, Lady Godiva appealed to her husband with a full heart of compassion, beseeching him to lessen the people's load. Leofric, in a moment of jest, or perhaps to test her resolve, made a proposition. He would ease the taxes if she would ride through the town's streets, unclothed, her body exposed to the gaze of the town folk. Lady Godiva, undeterred by the challenge and moved by a profound sense of duty, agreed. Here the tale deepens, for it was not merely a ride, but a testament to her chastity and the value she placed on it. Before the day of her ride, she issued a proclamation asking every resident to remain inside, their eyes averted, so that her act might not lead to dishonor, not just her own, but that of the town itself. And so, on a day etched forever in history, Lady Godiva rode through Coventry, cloaked only in her long flowing hair, which shielded her from view. The people of Coventry, in a remarkable act of collective respect and honor for her sacrifice, complied with her request, every window was shuttered, every door was closed, every eye cast down, except for one. Tom, a tailor by trade, succumbed to curiosity and bore a hole in his shutters, becoming the sole spectator of Lady Godiva's passage. This act of voyeurism gave birth to the term peeping Tom, symbolizing a breach of trust and respect. Tom was struck blind for his transgression, a severe reminder of the consequences of dishonoring a noble act. The moral of Lady Godiva's story transcends the narrative of her ride. It speaks to the value of chastity, not merely in terms of purity, but as a form of self-respect and respect for others. Her willingness to risk her own dignity to relieve the burdens of the oppressed, coupled with the town folk's collective decision to maintain her honor, underscores a profound truth. The greatest respect we can afford others and ourselves is to uphold the dignity of all. In the end... Leofric, moved by his wife's bravery and the townspeople's respect, upheld his promise. The taxes were lowered, and Lady Godiva's chastity, though wrist, remained intact, shielded by the virtue of the people she sought to protect. Her story immortalized in the annals of history, serves as a beacon of the virtues of chastity, honor, and the power of community respect.